Hi Cancer, how's it going? It's Jacqueline with Universal Intuition. Thank you so much for being here. Today's video is gonna be your March general reading, again for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. Thank you also for being here. Everyone, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Also make sure you're hitting the notification bell. Um, that way you're not missing any notifications when I upload a new video and or go live. Love to see you there. Um, Cancer. If y'all are looking for a personal read, I am totally booked up for March. Um, I do have a list already going for April. It is first come, first serve. If you want to get on the um, if you want to get on the list for that, just shoot me an email. My business email is in the description box below. Also with my Instagram. I would love to see y'all's beautiful shining faces. Come say hello. Um, yeah, Cancer. All right, so we're gonna do it a little different today. Again, this is gonna be your general read, same as normal. I'm gonna free shuffle and just see what's going on with your energy, what's coming towards you, all the good, the good bag, the ugly, all the good stuff, right? Um, and then I've been getting a lot of requests to do like a he said, she said type of vibe um, or type of spread. So what we're gonna do is the other person that you're dealing with, your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, new love or ex, whoever it is that you're dealing with right now in your life, uh, their reading is going to be in the extended. Um, it's going to be um, also in the description box below. The link for that will just be right down there. Just click on it and go from there. But this portion is just going to be for you. What's going on with your energy, Cancer? Okay. We've got three more shuffles. Spirit, what messages do we have for Cancer? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your March general reading. I'm using the crystal vision today. I knew someone was going to ask. <laughs> All right, Cancer, what is going on with y'all for the month of March? We're in Pisces season. We've got a retrograde coming up. We have a new moon. We have a new moon uh, in Pisces. All that's actually, I think, all happening on the same day on the 5th. But Cancer doesn't have anything to worry about because y'all be looking good. Y'all be looking good, Cancer. I like to see this kind of thing for you. Um, this is your Ace of Pentacles. This is beautiful. This is new opportunities. I just heard I'm not letting the retrograde get to me because um, people, you know, kind of trip out, but not you. I feel like you're going to stay strong, listen to your intuition. And I feel like during this period, because um, it's going to last for most of the month, I want to say until the 28th, I think. But anyways, um, you're just like, screw that. I'm not worried about that. I am focused. I got I got my mind on my money and I'm not going away. <laughs> Who is that? Rihanna. Duh. I don't know why. She like she she her songs are in my head when I read. I don't know why. Um, so beautiful. Ooh, Cancer. Oh yeah, baby. We've got the star card. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. There is an opportunity. It could be a new job. It could be a it could be a person coming in, could be an earth sign. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or an Aquarius. There is something big coming, uh, coming your way. Some kind of uh, money coming in unexpectedly. Something that was meant to be yours. A job that was meant to be yours. An opportunity. Some kind of financial 3D reality. It could be also an inheritance of some kind. Um, cancer. Wow. Really, really coming in strong here. This is absolutely beautiful. Um, because star card talks about your destiny, talks about, you know, what was written in the stars, what, what your kind of, uh, your intuition, what your guides are trying to, uh, send to you what was meant to be yours the whole time you know this is pretty big this could be again a new job a new home it could be a loan that you're getting but I think it's more than that it's like it's something really 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 special it's obviously going to vary for each and every one of you because this is a general read but wow cancer I like that let's see what else we got really taking on the opportunity Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. We have the world card with the seven of cups. That's what I'm saying. So there's a new opportunity. You're going to take it and what you're closing out 
is you might have been in a stage of confusion lately. It could have been dealing, you know, Seven of Cups could be like, I'm talking to multiple people, kind of confused, not really sure which direction I should go in. Also could talk about a job as well or whatever this Ace of Pentacles is to you, whatever this new opportunity is, you're gonna, you're going right for it because in this particular deck, you know, she's, there's like a, there's like a little fairy, an angel, whatever, uh, bringing her this one particular cup. The other cups are beautiful. There's a rainbow in one. There's some other really pretty stuff. The dragon's holding on to some. There's a dragonfly in some of these. But there is really something special that you're really feeling into. You're using your intuition, Cancer. You're very, very, very uh, intuitive. A lot of you are very psychic and have these, these abilities naturally. Very, very powerful water sign. Um, and you are just like, oh, like, I feel like I could do that. I could do this. Maybe it's something creative that you're trying to do that you're like, I know that if I put my heart and my, my soul, if I put my everything into it, I know it will be successful. Okay. One of your talents, something that you were just naturally born with. Okay. And you're kind of kissing goodbye here with the world card. It's about, you know, closing off one area in our life so that we can open up a new door, open up a, a new door of opportunity is a knock in cancer. And y'all are like, I smell it. I feel it. I'm going to take it. I'm taking it for mine. Very, very good. And the part of what you're closing off here with the world card is this time of confusion or just not really sure if you've been investigating or can't really you know, put your finger on exactly what this this opportunity or talent or whatever it is that you're taking on. Um, I feel like it in March you're gonna it's gonna you're gonna get it I'm also seeing the crescent moon there which is when we have that new moon in Pisces I feel like for a lot of you you could be receiving your ace of Pentacles moment right there around the new moon okay too many cards Woo! I've like got butterflies in my stomach for you guys like this is this is pretty big this is pretty huge okay what else do we have going on for Cancer? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Page of Swords has been trying to come out. Some of y'all might be receiving this news through um, an email, uh, maybe a text, maybe through some kind of social media opportunity. I don't know. All right, Five of Swords. Yeah, you're definitely walking away from something so that something new can open up. Um, a lot of you, I'm kind of picking this up as maybe you have put yourselves out there before because this is under your ace of pentacles i feel like some of you have put yourselves out there before um you know like i'm just using this as an example because it's the first thing that came to my mind maybe some of you are you know like when you're an actor or an actress and you go out for for gigs for tryouts for opportunities whatever they're called auditions <laughs> you go for different auditions you know and you're just like oh, that one didn't work oh, that one didn't work oh that one didn't work you know but i know one of these days it's gonna work out okay so i feel like this is also just healing from the pain could be from a person as well for some of you this is about a new person coming in you know you're definitely doing some healing walking away from what didn't work from you in the past okay oh who is that Ooh, Hierophant. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Taurus, okay? But this is about commitment, and I love the Hierophant falling under uh, the star card here, Cancer. This is gorgeous. You're like, I feel it. I'm taking this on. Hierophant is about commitment. It's a very spiritual card, okay? Bottom of the deck right there is also the Knight of Pentacles. It, this could have been a very slow experience for you. This could be something that you've been working on and trying to figure out for a long time. I'm almost seeing like a Seven of Pentacles or, or I should say feeling a Seven of Pentacles. Like I've been planting these seeds of intention for a long time. It might have been taken a really long time. It could have taken several months. This could have been something going on for years. But this is a chapter that is finally closing off. Maybe there was some in here a lesson that you had to learn but now the bigger the better picture is here the big opportunity is right here waiting for you Harrison is like I'm gonna commit to that whether it's a, a new job whether it's a person whatever it has been written in the stars for you whatever this opportunity is for you cancer you're saying yes you're saying yes and it's it's just something that really resonates with you okay this is absolutely beautiful <laughs> my amethyst is trying to like I keep hitting it for some reason and it's like actually off in the distance more than it usually is. So maybe some of y'all need some amethyst in your life right now. Very powerful, very, uh, a good one for protection. Also a really good one for speaking of the hair fit and the star card. Uh, when you meditate, uh, amethyst is a really good one to have when you meditate. Really good for astro travel and that sort of thing. 
All right, let's get a couple more messages. Spirit, what other messages do we have going on for Cancer? Knight of Swords. Okay, so the page didn't want to fall out, but the knight did. Yeah, I feel like definitely some of y'all are getting getting this type of information. You're receiving it, some type of air message, but it's coming in rather quick, rather strong. A knight of Swords um, could be representing an air sign, uh, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Okay, could be the other person you're dealing with or who is granting you this opportunity. Okay, because this person is coming in quick. They're coming in fast. Um, yeah. I just feel a lot of speed coming with this one, okay? All right, we have the Three of Swords also here, Cancer. Um, and this is under the Seven of Cups. I feel like a reason why you've been confused um, in the past and why maybe it's been hard for you to make a decision if this is a new job, new new person, whatever it is at this Ace of Pentacles, whatever you're this, this cup that you're also receiving, this new opportunity that's coming in, um, it might, the reason why maybe for some of you it's taken a while is because there's been so much healing to do here. Like I said, we did have the Five of Swords pop up earlier too, okay? And you're really working working on, you know, okay, I'm, 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 uh, I'm seeing like a band-aid, like I'm, I'm healing my wounds here. I'm doing whatever I need to do for self-care, moving on um, what doesn't work for me any longer so I can truly be open and accept this new opportunity of love, this new opportunity of financial success, financial gain to some extent. And y'all, at the bottom of the deck, we have the beautiful Justice card. Um, and we'd have the Knight of Swords, so it could be dealing with a Libra here. Um, this is the card of Libra. But regardless... This was all a learning lesson for you and you're getting what you, what is rightfully yours. You're getting what is um, what it is that you deserve. Okay, whatever this Ace of Pentacles means to you. Again, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. Um, but it, it it's coming to you at the right time because you've been working on balancing your energy. You've been working on your good karma. You've been working on being the solid, true, committed to your higher self person that has been calling for you for such a for such a long time so congratulations cancer this is an absolutely gorgeous reading i can't wait to look at the other side of what this opportunity is about or whoever's coming into your life or whatever so again thank you cancer so much for all of your support please don't forget to subscribe before you leave um and if you want to see how the other person is feeling about you or really i just keep looking back at the ace of pentacles let's really see what's going on there what this opportunity is about uh or whoever it is that you're dealing with husband wife boyfriend girlfriend Friend, new love coming in whatever that means to you um, that'll be in the description box below and happy month of March to you happy end of the zodiac year to you Pisces is kind of wrapping up the end of the zodiac even um, some stuff that was going on from last year 2018 really wrapping that up really really saying goodbye so appropriate that y'all have the world card here so i love it i love it cancer congratulations y'all are so deserving of this beautiful opportunity coming your way i love my uh cancerians and can't say enough wonderful things about y'all i just love you dearly sending you my love i'll talk to you soon